jumping it off with the hanging leg lifts. Come up halfway just to an L sit for a beginner. And if you want to go ahead and get that Bruce Lee action, go ahead and come all the way up to the top like I just did. It's an awesome core workout, working out the abdominal walls as well as the lower abs. Full. This is one of those functional strength type exercises. Give it a shot. Let's not forget you asked for an ab workout. What do I do to get my abs the way they are? Or at least the cutness that I got. Well, it's all about concentration, time and attention, and utilization of the body as a whole. Do things that involve more free movement rather than static movements, like you would find on a machine. Right here we got the oblique leg lifts. Put a slight twist in the hips towards the side and then lift up. This is a good way to work the obliques in full and really get a good contraction in the trunk and an awesome stretch in your core and your spine. Oldie but goodie right here. Sometimes you gotta go back to the basics. You wanna get your abs in check. You want them steel slabs? Go ahead and get on the ground and do some crunches. Make sure you visualize yourself being like a soda can. You want the bottom of the soda can and the top of the soda can to touch each other. In other words, your solo plexus and the top of your hips should be reaching for each other as you contract inward. That's the type of crunch you want towards the inside. Going for an easy two sets of 30. And then we're gonna jump right into the sit up twist. Coming all the way up. Really working the fascia of the stomach once again. And you're also working the obliques. If you want 360 abs, you gotta work your abs all the way around. Yes, you can get them not doing all kinds of different things. But in my opinion, it's a lot easier and a lot more functional to hit your body from all angles. Your abs are built to move and groove and go all over the place. So don't ever get stuck in working them on one plane. Work the sagittal, frontal, and the transversal, especially the transversal. Transversal is the twist, FYI. Jumping off with the prior perspective planks, with the added leg tuck, bringing up your knees as high as you can incorporates more abdominal activation. You want to activate the core at all costs, so bring your knees up high. Also, holding a static position and keeping your balance on the unstable yet controllable XBR 360s gives you a whole nother exercise to where you're utilizing the stabilization muscles as well as your abs and flexibility which I notice a lot of people seem to fail at but hey that's a video for later we'll get to that flexibility very soon just because you got muscle doesn't mean you can't be flexible the more flexible you are the more resistant you are to injury best believe Let's go ahead and get into these high volume squats and progressive overload starting from 135 and working our way up from there in 315. So right now we're doing 135, going for 30, and we're going to keep getting 30 each time we go up in weight. Right here is 155, going for 30 once again, and then we're going to get 225 and force out another 30, getting ATG type of low. Um, as you can see, I am getting low, and you have to remember that there are different types of squats depending on what you're going for. So I was really going for a pump, so I went ahead and went all the way down, came all the way up. Easy. I know you hear me harping on that prior perceptiveness when it comes to workouts. 
So right now I'm balancing on HBR 360 blockers, activating my core and really getting a deep burn in the quads because if you don't keep your core tight and if you don't keep control all the way from your toes up to your neck, you will fall. This is real good when you just finished a pretty tough squat workout and you want to get a little extra pump in there and also teach yourself how to get some better balance, go ahead and jump on those. Then we're going to go right back to the squats and finish up with a power set going with for 315. We got 225 plus a 45 pound band on each side. Getting real good, deep and explosive at the top and then finishing it out. Only going about five or six. I don't really remember how many I did. But just know that sucker hurt. After all them squats, brother was gone. It's all good though. Gotta earn my wings one way or another, right? Top flight. All right, we're nearing the end of our awesome high volume leg workout. Finishing off with the high volume leg press. Four plates for four sets of 50. Murder on the quads and the hams, depending on how low you go. Man, I'm telling you right now, I felt like I was there forever. I didn't want to bore y'all. So as you can see, I got some little skip flash steps going here and there. And then we're going to finish off with the hyper extensions. Getting that good old Christmas tree action in the lower back and also working the hamstrings. Trust me, if you know what you're doing, you will feel this in your hamstrings. Another way you can work them without getting on another machine. And that's it for the workout, y'all. Hope right, you enjoyed. I hope y'all enjoyed that workout, working the legs, the wheels that break deals. Trying to get ready, as you saw, I was adding a lot of high volume to my exercises today. Um, probably did over 150 reps on squat, starting from 135, going all the way up to 285, and it feels awesome. Sorry, I'm driving, but hey, be sure to come support your boy at the uh, FUCON as well as the Muscle Mania May 10th because uh, I'm working real hard so I can please the people, you feel me? And if you got any questions or any anything you want answered or video that you'd like to see, throw it in the comment box below or hit up our email or Facebooks or Twitter, Blazing Night on Twitter, yeah, get with it, okay? Well, that's it for today, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed. This is Knight Williams signing out.